My last name is Lee, Bruce Lee. I was born in San Francisco in 1940. I'm 24 right now. And you went to college in the United States? Yes. And what did you study? Uh, philosophy. Well, Kung Fu, the best example would be a glass of water. Why? Because uh, water is the softest substance in the world, but yet it can penetrate the hardest rock or anything, granite, you name it. Uh, water also is insubstantial. By that I mean you cannot grasp hold of it. You cannot punch it and hurt it. So every Kung Fu man is trying to do that, to be soft like water and flexible and adapt itself to the opponent. See, what's the difference between a Kung Fu punch and a Karate punch? Well, a Karate punch is like an iron bar, whang. A Kung Fu punch is like an iron chain with an iron ball attached to the end and it go whang and it hurt inside. Okay. Well, it is hard to show it alone, but uh, I will try to do my best. All right, maybe one of the fellows will walk in. You want to walk yeah, in? it would be a... Uh, go ahead. Go ahead. Come on, lady. Come on, lady. Okay. Although accidents do happen, but you know, <laughs> there are various kind of strike. It depends on where you hit and what weapon you will be using. To the eyes, you would use fingers. Don't worry. <laughs> I will be. To the eyes, or straight at the face, from the waist, everything on. Hold it just a minute. Uh, let's move this gentleman around this way so you're doing it more into the camera. Okay, okay swell. And then. There is band arm strike using the waist again into a back fist. And uh, let's have the assistant director back up just the waist. <laughs> 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 okay, go ahead. Continue. And then, of course, Kung Fu is very sneaky. You know, the, Chi the Chinese, they always hit low. From high, go back to the groin. <laughs> Don't worry. Now turn around the other way, would you, Bruce? Oh, okay. Yeah. And, uh, Would you want him? Yes. Yeah. These are just natural right reactions. That's right, right. right. That right. is right. natural reactions. Right into the camera. Cheat into the camera a little bit and show this again. All right. Go ahead. There is the finger jab. There is the punch. There is the back fist and then low. Of course, then they use leg. Straight at the groin. All come up. Or, if I can back up a little bit, they start back from here and then come back. <laughs> all right. It's kind of work. <laughs> all right. For instance, you will read it in the book, in the magazine, and everything. That when somebody grab you, you will first do this, and then this, and then, and then, and then, and then, thousands of steps before you do a single thing. Of course, these kind of magazine would uh, teach you to be feared by your enemies and admired by your friends and everything. Thing. But uh, in kung fu, it always involves a very fast motion. Like for instance, a guy grabbing your hand. It's not the idea to do so many steps. Step him right on the instep. He'll let go. This is what we mean by simplicity. Same thing in striking and in everything. It has to be based on a very minimum motion so that everything would be directly expressed. <laughs> one motion. And he's gone. Doing it gracefully. Not to go, ah, yelling and jumping all over him, but to do it. Excuse me. Okay, okay, now show me once again just a few movements there. Well, uh, Kung Fu can be practiced uh, alone or with a partner. Uh, practicing alone, they involve forms. Some imitate a crane, a monkey, a praying mantis. This is a crane form. Let's start off. Hey! They have the tiger that start like a tiger, using claw to claw the face, or the beak of the crane to the eyes, move. This is some of the movement involved. Thank you very much.